welcome to Encoder Fashion. I'm Rose. Today I want to share with you guys on how to dress a dress pattern for knit fabric. I also want to share with you tips and tricks on how to dress this dress pattern. This dress comes with four pieces, two pieces in the front, the bust part and the bottom dress and in the back it has a zipper so we have to have a center back seam to insert the zipper between those seams let's do it before I begin to draft the pattern I would Draw a straight line at the bottom hem of the dress. Then I'm going to add hem alone to the bottom hem. Let me give it a different uh, macro color. If somehow we would, or sometimes I make a mistake and I cut around or cut away the hem allowance if I have the same color marker. So the hem allowance. We add three centimeter for the hem alone. We also need to add two and a half centimeter for the back center seam. Again, because we have a zipper in the back. It is useful guys if you draft the pattern to use the, some color code for your line drawing because again it's easily confused and use different co uh, color code for the drawing it does help especially let's say you draft the pattern for a while and you get really tired you don't have to like try to think what what line and what's not to cut on. So now we finished drawing a straight line for a hem alone as well as for the back center alone. Now I'm going to show you the formula how to draft this dress with knitted fabric. Okay. But this formula make every drafting pattern really simple. When I said the formula is because it's all the way that way. It's gonna be stick that way. You just select the numbers and the number that you measure. Let's say you measure the customer or you measure yourself. For this dress, I made it for myself, so I measure myself. I also have this uh, size chart here on my website. You go to encoderfashion.com. You can print it out and use it freely as you want about this specific dress that I demonstrated right now. Okay, so go back to the formula. You just plug 
the data that you measure your body. For example, my measurement is dress length 87, my bust length 25, my neck length 24, and my waist length front 35 and the back 38, hip length 58, shoulder length 34, sleeve length then this dress is sleeveless, we do not have to worry about sleeve length. Sleeve circumference, you don't need to worry about either because it's sleeveless dress. Now, this is the three important part I will specify it later. Bust circumference, 94. Waist circumference, 88. And hip circumference, 106. And I have this guideline below how to calculate this, okay? So the formula for this is you divide shoulder length by two, okay? Divide, let me eliminate the sleeve, the circumference, and uh, whatever. So I don't want to confuse you with that. So divide bust circumference by four, divide waist circumference by four, divide hip circumference by four, and divide shoulder circumference by two, then add two point five for the arm hole. Right now it seems like a lot, but I will go through again step by step while we drafting the pattern. So hang tight with me. I promise it's get easier in a minute when I show you the fact that I use this data to actually draft the pattern. Now we are going to mark down the dress length. Just like I showed you earlier, the dress length 87. And here, 87. And I'm going to use blue for this. Why not? I have so many markers. I bought these markers with my kid in elementary school, guys. And they're really useful. I have like a box full of it so i'm gonna start using these up so 87 that's the dress length and i'm gonna match the dress length all right so the dress length 87 and i'm gonna mark down here remember i told you the am site the am hole another word in other words is am hole you would divide the shoulder by two and add 2.5 to that number. So my shoulder 34 divided by 2 17 plus 2.5 so equal 19.5 centimeter. Okay? So 19.5 and I'm max 19.5. Next is my waist length. Okay? And since we work on the knit fabric, we do not have to worry about the dot length. As you can see, knit fabric really strikes. We can just calculate based on that and I will show you why, okay? So now after we mark down the armhole length, we're gonna mark down the waist length. So my waist length was 35, okay? All right, let me uh, put this right here, waist length, and then here, M hole blank. All right, and after that, I'm gonna mark down hip length, okay? So my hip length is 58. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna put the hip length right there okay and we already marked down her dress length earlier so i'm gonna just uh label it for now so that dress length okay and um, this one i should label this as well so shoulder length all right okay so after you mark down right here, you have two options. Whether you mark down it again or you use square ruler, okay? I prefer square ruler because save me time. But again, if you want to be like, okay, you're not sure your first time doing this, you can use the measurement tape again 
and repeat the step, okay? But at this moment, I'm gonna just use this uh, square ruler. That's, you know, my favorite, favorite thing about you square ruler is to do that. That's a purpose like I'm really excited about. So, boom, you just mag, just like that. This formula, guys, work with every dress. And very, very like essential for pattern maker. If you're new to this formula, I recommend practice. And I have video how to use this formula. And if you have any question after you watch this video, you can connect with me with Encoder Fashion on YouTube and send me a message. I would love to hear from you guys. Okay. All right. So now we draw the line, the MAC line for the shoulder, shoulder line, arm hole, waistline, hip line, dress line. Now, again, we're gonna go back to a data. Just like I mentioned earlier, we divide the shoulder by two. My shoulder length was 34 divided by 217. Now let me show you. Step one, we're gonna work from the top to the bottom, okay? So, 17 centimeter. You just put 17 centimeter. Just like that. And come down here to the armhole line. Now you're gonna use your butt circumference measurement. So for example, my bus circumference 94 divided by 4, 23.5. Okay. Alright. Then we come down here to the waist line. And again, I also measure my waist circumference and I also divide that by 4 and equal 22. So my waist circumference 88 divided by 4 equal 22. And we're gonna match 22. Oh, this is annoying. My camera stick just right at this point and I have to switch this around guys, sorry. We'll do better next time. So 22, okay? Okay, the hip line. So my hip circumference 106, I divide it by four equal 26.5. Mm-hmm, all right. So now we're gonna connect the dot, okay? So my shoulder 17, this is my shoulder 17 and let me show you this part. So 17 and we're going to subtract 2.5. Let me give you one extra max so you can see. So this is 17, okay? From here to here, 17. Subtract two and a half and we're gonna draw this line here, okay? Okay, now we're going to connect armhole line to the waistline. From the waistline to the hip line. Okay, now this is a little bit tricky here. I mean, not tricky, it's still a formula, okay? So, one of my classmates asked me back then, that uh, how would we know what number to increase or decrease to create an A line versus a, a pencil pencil line? So what I'm trying to explain to you is, you see when you place your ruler, if you put it as straight as possible from the hip line it will look like a straight line, right? 
and that we call that a straight line skirt. But at this point, we make a pencil skirt. So based on my experience, a pencil skirt, you would use the waist circumference. Let's say, for example, my waist circumference is 22. You would use the hem circumference 22. Okay. And we're gonna blend the point a little bit to get a curve fitted because how a body shape it doesn't have like a pointy bit. It has kind of curved fit and smooth fit. So I would recommend you just you know blend in all the point. So it stay kind of round fitted, okay? So, and that is part of the formula. If you want to create pencil skirt or pencil dress, you would use the circumference of your waist for the circumference of the dress, circumference for the hem, for the bottom hem, as well as with the bottom hem of the skirt, okay? So now we go back to the shoulder so based on the dress that I'm gonna make is kind of like a oval neck it's not more like a U neck but a little it's not as deep as letter U it's like in between it's more like an oval okay then it is oval neck we're going to mark down the neck with 10 centimeter okay and we would decrease the shoulder size for one and a half centimeter and connect the neck match to the shoulder mag that I just draw from one point to the neck Okay, so now, so now we're gonna just move the armhole, okay? And I'm gonna mark down the back neck length for six centimeter. So we're finished for the back dress. So let me label that. Okay. I want to share a tip with you guys of drafting a knitted dress pattern. We do not add seam allowance. It depends on how stretch your knit fabric is. Based on my knitted fabric, it's about 30% stretch. So, most knitted fabric about 30% stretch or more. And what I recommend with a knitted fabric pattern, do not need to add seam allowance. We just cut right on the seam allowance, okay? The fact if we draft for a woven fabric, non stretch, we would add about two and a half centimeters seam allowance. But here we just cut around the line. It's time to cut.
Okay, we finish a bag. Now, after we finish a bag of the dress, we're gonna continue strap the front dress. All the work, guys. Just to let you know, all the work are on the back of the dress. So when you draft the front dress, you just remove that back dress that you just finished and place it on the paper like I'm doing right now. Place on it, except you do not want to have a center back alone you just want it no center back alone in the front because again we only need center back allowing it for the zipper and the zipper is in the back and we don't need it for the front put some braid on and I'm going to trace this line here because with this dress, a little bit complex. We have two pieces in the front and the shoulder or the armhole kind of come down more like a, like a triangle shape, okay? And also have the cut below the butt. So that's a little bit complex and we need these lines to give us more guidelines where the bust that we're gonna cut. And I need a tracing wheel to do that. Okay? So I'm gonna trace all the lines. Plus when you trace first before you cut, if the paper kind of stick together. And when you cut it, it's easy for you. It doesn't know. The paper don't just you know slide when you cut. That's why I like to trace it first. We want to trace. The dress line, the hip line, the waist line, the armhole line, the chest, the shoulder line. Alright, so. That's one kind of plus work with a knit, knitted uh, fabric. If we want to tight fit it and stuff, we do not need to like, you know, draw the dot or anything like that. So all you need to do is just, you know, not add seam alone and you can have the dress as fit as you would like. You don't need to do any dot or anything. So now I'm finished. Not totally, totally finished, but I'm finished cutting. Now we're going to cut the two piece part for the dress. Earlier I planned out the 
bust length. Let's say this dress does not have the dot, but it does have the bust line. We also need that dot to measure where the bust line lay. So let me show you how. My bust length is 25. Okay, so I'm going to max at 25. Centimeter, that's the bust length. Alright. And we have under the bust line. So we're going to base our bust line on that. 25, so at 5 centimeters for the bust line. Okay. And the next, my next length is 24 for the front. Okay, next length. So my next length, 12 centimeter. looks like kind of like a triangle so we're gonna just draw a triangle shape okay So we want to add one point five centimeters similar up here. The same as down here. One point five centimeters. Same. Thank you. 
So now we bend this two piece, two pieces for the front dress. Now all we need is the interfacing for the armhole and for the neck. So let me show you how to do that. Okay, and we're going to put that front, alright, as well as here. And that's the front interfacing. Now we're going to cut the back interfacing. Okay, let me just put them in one pound so we don't mistakenly cut it up because it's happened before. Okay, so now I'm going to cut the back interfacing. Okay, so after we finish cut the front interfacing, we are going to cut the back interfacing, okay? The same thing, place the back dress on top of a piece of paper and just like that, let me show you. So, then you have one piece of paper, we're gonna just cut both at the same time for the neck and for the armhole. Cutter. I really uh, actually place the exact one that I use. It's a uh, it's called Japan Pad fifty forty five. I will post exact one that I have. I owned it for like ten years, and I never change the blade. Nothing. It still cut just like 
a pro. It's super cool. And I use it for everything, for fabric, for paper, and I just love it. You can get like really curly and really close cut, especially with patterns like this, oh, super useful. Okay, so now we're going to cut. This is one trick that, uh, not really a trick, but again, I like my work to be neat and one of them, I want this to be like equal, equal length. The interfacing, when it's equal length, it looks better, it feels better. So I would max or snip it to max the length. The same as here. With the next side, I like it when it's equal because it looks clean, it's very neat. Okay, so always max right away guys. I recommend, I really, really uh, can't say enough because you could get really confused. So back, so back and then front, okay. And the same as here, you know that's gonna be the back, let's just match this, okay. And you match the, the parallel, like a point arrow up when it's up because then when you cut the fabric, you knew exactly where the direction you're going, which is really cool. Okay, so now we have the next, the front and the back next, right here, back and front, and then the arm hole, back and front, and right now, we just complete a knitted dress pattern. How exciting is that? Very easy and very fast to create, right? No magic, guys. It's practice. So it's one of those things. Practice makes perfect. And when you do them enough, you start to like just love doing it. I have to tell you, almost like art. Thanks for watching, Design Nasers. I'm Rose, and you can design anything.